Hey everyone, PC Casual Gaming Dad here. I'm back today with another Diablo 2 Resurrected video. Um, this is for the Nova Energy Shield Sorceress. And as a special treat, I am going to be making my first uh, Enigma rune word here in Diablo 2 Resurrected. It's been over 15 years uh, since I've had an Enigma. Have not made one or traded for one in Diablo 2 Resurrected, and I'm gonna be making it myself. I'm really excited about it. Uh, so I decided to couple it with uh, this video today about the my sorceress that I ended up making. And the reason why I ended up making the sorceress um, was for a couple of reasons. Uh, I saw the Nova play style and I thought it was pretty fun uh, and interesting. And in, in addition. Uh, I liked the idea of a sorceress because I didn't have Enigma and I wanted to be able to farm keys. Uh, keys were a great way to build wealth and I was trying to get the Enigma and I did a whole bunch of key trades and whatnot and that's ultimately what ended up helping me get uh, the job rune that I needed uh, for Enigma. So um, first we'll start off with, uh, I'll show you the gear that I have. So this is not a, uh, what I would call budget. Um, it's not a, uh, I don't have infinity and I only have, I have a couple of skillers that I got for is runes each, which I thought was pretty good. I've been seeing people ask for two, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, I found an Oculus with my barb and that's another reason why I was like, well, this isn't worth too much. I think it's worth like an um or something. So I figured, you know, let's make a sorceress, right? And then I traded for Talrasha's armor and amulet for two is plus one, so three ists for that, which I thought was pretty good. Uh, a Shaco, um, I was able to get for pretty, I think, Malroon, I believe. You know, so it's it's been going down on ladder. People still asking for ist, but you know, you don't you don't certainly don't have to. Before this, I was using a lore rune and stealth and whatnot. Uh, Oh, hey, what's up, Ramen? Nice, nice, man, nice, yeah. Uh, so I wanted to use this three-piece bonus because you get the extra fast cast rate, the 10 each, the 65 MF. So it adds up to quite a bit there, MF-wise. I've got a pretty crappy spirit. Uh, 27 was exactly what I needed for the breakpoint that I wanted to reach. Uh, I've got Sandstorm Treks, decent pair of boots, I need the strength to help me wear the spirit. I've got two fast cast rate rings here. Uh, this one's just got mana and whatnot, which helps with the energy shield, right? And again, I need it for the break point. This one's not bad, has a lot of strength and resists and whatnot. And then the Mage Fist, just cause again, I need the fast cast rate and regenerate mana. Uh, I have some so-so uh, charms. This one's pretty good. Actually, pretty happy with this one for this build. Like, ideally, you'd have a lot of these in um, here that would make you very tanky. I've got an Annie, uh, no torch. Uh, they're kind of expensive, haven't gotten there yet. Like I said, two lightning skillers, um, a Geats. So that's it there. I have 85 base strength, getting me here to the 156 point, which I feel is worth it because of the mana and the vitality and the fast cast rate. And originally, I was using Lidless Wall. Could certainly use that, um, but I want to hit that 117 FCR breakpoint. Uh, the decks so that's just added from here. Vitality, I have put none in here, and I put 400 into energy. My resists are not bad, as you can see. This is hell mode. I kind of wish my fire resist was a little better, so ideally, I'd have maybe a fast cast rate ring with mana and fire res instead of lightning because I'm a little bit over on the lightning. Uh, but this one's not bad either. So not too bad on the resists. And let's go to the skills. I got one in frost armor, one in warmth, max in static field because it is a synergy for Nova. So these two, and then you max lightning mastery and that's all you need for the Nova. So a lot of people do this and then they move over here and do orb, which you certainly can. Uh, I wanted to try the energy shield. So I have it maxed here and you can see that it's at level 32 because of my plus 10 and as 
well, the two lightning skill charms. So a torch would be nice as well. It absorbs 87% of incoming damage and mana consumed is 138%. Uh, it has a synergy with telekinesis. I only have 10 base points here. I'm level 87. I should have more actually, but I haven't gone and done <laughs> his wall yet. I keep forgetting to do it, but I just remember now that I haven't done that. So there should be two more here, which would add another 12% less more mana taken to damage. So that helps a lot. Um, you know, I know it needs infinity, but I like the insight because I feel like it gives me lots of mana regen. It makes me regenerate mana when I take damage. So it actually makes me kind of harder to kill. Uh, so um, that's my thoughts on that. What I'll say about this build is the following. Uh, it's pretty fast. It's pretty easy. You literally just tele stop everything and Nova, Nova, Nova. Uh, but it's pretty weak in high player counts um, without infinity. Uh, if you wanted to hire player counts, I'd say lightning is probably a lot more powerful. Uh, but for solo play, for like key farming and whatnot, which I like to do countess, and I do full clears of Arcane Sanctuary. I'm gonna do that here in just a minute. And you'll see that it is pretty good. Um, it works pretty well. So let's go do that. It could possibly, it could probably handle players three, but I feel like solo is just much more efficient. It's fast, so let's go do that. right now. pretty good he can kill the lightning immunes for me oh i should probably show just really quick my i got 345 mf which is not bad and like i said the 117 fast cast rate that's exactly what you need for the uh well what i feel is the most important breakpoint for nova specifically i think you only need 105 for teleport for nova it's a little more Dang it, where are the other oh, there it is You do have to refresh energy shield from time to time, FYI, just because if you take a lot of damage, whoops, that's not my last, yeah, I am kind of lagging a little bit, huh? Did I? Oh, <laughs> I just realized I'm on Europe, I should be on the Americas. I did a trade earlier on there and I forgot to switch. That's probably why it's lagging a bit, but that's okay. I apologize for that. Sometimes it's not exactly to your left. It's, you're supposed to go until you until you can only go left, and then you go down, follow. See, like there, it wasn't really left. But. Okay, left. Okay, we got lucky that time. Okay, you go straight to counters. probably the only lower rune that I like to find, generally speaking. Good to see you. Okay. Route runes actually sell for a good amount, so I like to stack those. Okay, so that's there. 
We'll do Arcane and then we're gonna do the Enigma, which I'm very excited about. So what's nice is again, you just tally. And you wanna be careful. You wanna get the ghosts over. The ghosts have a higher chance to drop runes than most mobs. So you wanna make sure they're over somewhere where they could drop items. Otherwise, they won't. It's just kind of silly. I feel like Blizzard should fix that. Or it just drops to like the nearest spot. I just, I try my best to get them over. I don't always do it. I don't do like full, full clears, like every monster. But I'll do the majority. See, it's pretty easy, especially the ghosts, they die very easy. And I apologize for the lag, I did not think. I got so excited, I got the jaw rune earlier, and I really wanted to make the video so I could. Ooh, gosh, yeah, I'm getting charmed. Nice. I love how you could do that, by the way, if you're an arcane, you could be higher up and still kill things. Treachery really helps with my murk, keep them alive. Come on, ghosties. So if you didn't know, the ghosts actually have... I think it's times more chance than any other type mom. And not just these ghosts, just all ghost types. So even the ghosts in the Arcane Sanctuary, for example, those types of ghosts, the casting ghosts. Oh, why did I do that? Yeah, the uh, Death Lords take definitely take a few more hits. They got good resistances. Like the ghosts, they die so quick and easy. A few Novas and they're dead. You can see my damage is 2,500 to 33 at level 32. It's not bad, but each each point adds a lot of damage. I've seen some people with like level 40 plus Nova that does like 5, 6k. It doesn't take much to kill them. 
get all spammy. And then they don't get all of them. Try to. map open just so I can teleport a little easier so I know where I'm going. Let's go this way. Okay, ooh. Yeah, that's one of the annoying things about Oculus is the teleport. I get why some people don't like using it. Could use the whole Paul Rasha set, but I mean, ideally, if you had a Griffin's Eye Diadem, which would be obviously God tier, uh, you wouldn't be able to use the whole set anyways. So. I don't know. I like the Shaco, the extra life, and uh, mana, and the Emma. That's it for that. All right, so you can see it's pretty straightforward, you know, pretty easy. Never really came in danger of dying except when I hit that shrine that one time. It's just like how simple it is, I don't have to aim. Okay, spell, spell. Wow, not bad. Too bad the ED wasn't higher. <laughs> not bad at all, 10 minimum. Jesus, is that the max? I think that's the max. Okay. Too bad. Too bad indeed. Get the ED move out of the way because it's not any key sets. Okay. Uh, that's it for that. Let's make the Enigma make it on my paladin because he's the one that's going to be using it primarily anyways. Okay. It's draw with bear, right? <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's always a little scary making high rune words. So um, yeah. Oh gosh, my heart is like pounding. Might set up. Okay. Uh, you can go over here. Okay, let's see. Okay, there's the mage blade. Ooh, okay. Jaw if bear. Jaw if I had to trade like all of my big runes for that, so. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, it's Jawath Bear, I'm being stupid. I'm just, I'm just checking again, because, okay. Okay, here we go. Jaw, if. All right, Enigma, look at that. I can 
take the scalders off. You've served me well. But that is just outstanding. So a little bit less MF. I'll take a little bit hit. Let me see. What am I at now? Uh, 253? Hmm. Oh. I was like, why do I have so little? That's probably because I don't have either of my nagels on. That probably doesn't help. Should be a little bit better. Okay, 306. Okay, I got 300. That's that's fine. That'll do. Uh, scolders, I like you. Okay, my highest rune is Lem Fallon Conal. Wow. I am super super stoked. Wow. I know it's like I'm not really showing it on my face, but. I mean, it's, it's taken me six weeks to get this, you know. Um, I mean, it's not the only thing I have. I have Heart of the Oak. I made a CTA, which is really bad. I traded just for runes and stuff. Um, and, you know, I have a couple Sheikahs, Hot Rashas. Like, I have, you know, I have stuff, but I, you, you need to invest in things to get you to that place, you know. So, oh, I've got way too much strength now. Way too much. I mean, I only put... What, 30 base points into it though, so it's not really necessary. I mean, I could change my boots, I guess, but I don't have any MF boots. And runes. Sandstorm tracks are pretty decent anyways, so if I found some rare boots with like MF and resist, I could wear those. Okay, we did it. Enigma. I'm excited now. I'm going to do go do some chaos runs. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, I'll see you next time.